What we're going to do today is open up this LP5, unbox it, and set it up. It is nice that they use this very high density foam because this did get shipped all the way directly from China, over 8,000 miles. Have our user manual here. Our stand. This might be materials. I see a coin in here. Yep, a bunch of different test materials. This is for the exhaust off the back of the hood. There's a hose. USB cables. And guides for the base plate. A much bigger power adapter. The AC cord, which thankfully is US, although it is like a standard computer cord, so I have a bunch of those if I needed it. Goggles. These weren't put up right. Bunch of screws and various parts. going to be the hood. What is this? Ah. Like a heat sink cutting plate. Those are nice to have. Glad they included that. Laser packet unit itself. Actually, I should probably lay that down. Power stand. As you can see, what's nice is they do pack it in this very high density foam, which is awesome to keep it safe when it's traveling all the way from China. And this is like very premium qualms, like what you see when people make those custom cutouts in like their tool chest. Now what we have here is the base model of the LP5. It doesn't include the accessories, the rotary tool, and the slide extension. I already have both of those because I bought the full kit when I got the LP4. But those also work with the LP5 here. So we have the laser unit here, which is significantly bigger than the LP4, but that's because it is more powerful. We have the power stand, we have the base plate, we have guides for the base plate, we have a more extensive material test than what came with the LP4, including some stuff that I've never done before, like this slate coaster. I think here's some stainless steel that we can test on. Some keychains and brass coin, as this can truly engrave metal away. Um, we have the power supply, which did come with the American US cord. The nice thing, though, is this is a three-prong like computer PC cord, which I have a bunch of those lying around if I needed one. I like that they include the cutting heat sink plate that wasn't included by default with the LP4. You had to buy that separate for like 20 bucks. Um, 
So in here, there's screws that's probably to connect the power stand to the base plate, Allen wrench, a USB jump drive. I believe that's for doing 3D engravings. Have the manual, we have goggles, we have the hood, which is much improved with this magnetic cover. So you don't have to necessarily raise and lower this after you've focused for your design and you can swap out if you're doing some batching. The nice thing is they did include a little hose and connector adapter for the hose to the back of the hood here. They included these goggles. I wish they were a little bit higher quality. Um, these ones actually are adjustable. The arms can go in and out. Here's my LP4 glasses. I actually broke it at like the hinge so I have it taped up. So it's nice to have a new pair. Well, let's start putting this together. There's not a lot of moving pieces here so we can do this pretty quickly. First thing we're gonna to need to do is attach the power stand to the base plate. I'm gonna just place all four screws in here. I figured out what the proper Allen wrench is and get one of these started. And get the next one started. So I'm just reversing counterclockwise until you hear that little click so that you know the threads align and then turning it clockwise to get them started. So I got them each started. I'm going most of the way down, but not tight yet. I have it mostly tightened. I'm gonna tighten these all the way up. Just finger tight, you don't wanna over tighten them. So now your power stand is connected to your base plate. I'm just checking the knob is tight for the bracket here. And then your laser head just lines up on top of this bracket. You just turn this knob underneath to tighten that on. The hood underneath inside has either has these thumb screws or does have a spot that you can use an Allen wrench on them. Okay, getting this hood on is a lot easier if you take off the front cover and also take off the lens cover. That's on there. Nice thing is this is magnetic. This is basically assembled. Now, if you're using the hood fan, you're gonna have to plug that into the back. You're gonna have to get your cable for your stand. So that's gonna plug into the back and then into the back of the stand so that this has power. And then you have your power adapter that goes up top here. And you can plug that into the wall. I wanna to quickly touch on some things I noticed out of the gate between the LP5 and the LP4. LP5 obviously has a larger unit head than the LP4. It also stands up higher which the good thing for that is you can do some taller items underneath this and it would still work. One of the things I did like on the LP4 is part of the base plate pops off so that you can set this on surfaces to do them without needing like a tripod stand. Um, I also would use like an office chair to raise something up underneath there that was like a thicker item that I couldn't put on the base plate to engrave. This cover is magnetic, which is nice to get it on and off quickly, but you have to raise and lower it to engrave items where this has the magnetic front that pops off so you can leave it in focus. And if you're doing batching, you can swap items in and out without having to raise and lower the engraver. On the back of the LP4 here, they gave you this little plastic clip that would help you organize your cables better. 
which like the power stand I always have running through there just for that one alone it's really nice they did not include that with the LP5 it has a more robust material kit which some of that is to show off like the more powerful IR laser which can engrave metal truly instead of just marking it um, there's some keychains slate coaster leatherette aluminum plywood and it does come with the heat sink plate to cut it where for the lp4 you could buy one for twenty dollars but it did not come with it the last thing this includes is a hose and connector piece so you could connect this to the back of the exhaust and run it on a window or if you buy their filter accessory on top the lp4 had an lcd and an emergency stop button one of the things i didn't like is that this was just black so i put this red vinyl sticker on it and engraved stop into it i didn't really use the screen too much it was nice to see the percentage but that's about all it was useful for i never really use it as a touch screen i really like that they have more dedicated buttons on the new laser pecker including the emergency stop button which is red and marked emergency stop they have a physical pause button you have a preview button. So there you have the unboxing and setup of the LP5, plus some comparisons of things I noticed out of the gate to the LP4. I'm gonna be creating more videos featuring the LP5, but even if you're using the LP4, a lot of that content will be relevant. So be sure to tune in.